Welcome back to Escapement and Watch. Falling Titan here, and today we got another Captain Cook, this time in bronze, and there's a huge sale on this one. So I thought I'd do a quick review on it. Introducing the 42 millimeter Captain Cook bronze edition on the NATO. And look at that beautiful blue dial and that bronze case. It kind of looks like gold. <laughs> It's a stunner. Of course, the bronze is going to patina and that beautiful case shape. Slight downturn on those lugs. Very vintage look. Quick history on Rado started in 1917. The name became Rado in 1950. Joined the Swatch Group 1982 and or 83. And they're known for using high-tech materials, high-tech ceramic. That's what they're known for. Cool brand. A lot of people may overlook Rado, but they shouldn't. It's a great one. Known typically for dress watches. Famous in Southeast Asia. Considered or regarded as high as Rolex over there. So amazing brand. But in 1962, the Captain Cook came out because there was a big push for recreational divers. So this skin diver came in trying to uh, ride the trends and uh, capitalize. So this one never sold well originally, but I feel like it has a place now in modern times. I think this will sell well. It's a beautiful look. It has an amazing case. It's refreshing and vintage at the same time. I think what Rado did here, they updated an icon very well. It is just a beautiful, elegant design. What do you guys think? And in the bronze, I'm a big fan of it. Now the movement is based off the ETA 2824, the base ETA, but they did refine the kinematic chain. Winding this is pretty good, a bit better than the base ETAs. And it's slowed down to 21.6 VPH 3 Hertz, but you get that 80 hours of power reserve. Still have the 25 uneven number of joules which i'm not a fan of because that means there's one hinge that has a jewel on the one side and not a jewel on the other side so no friction up here and then friction down here doesn't make sense to me so i always prefer an even number of joules but mm, i don't know now the measurements 42 millimeters in diameter that's exactly what i got but the bezel does overhang very slightly. And that's where the measurement's taken. So the case is a bit under 42. And we have a height or thickness of 12.5. So very thin, but gonna wear a bit thicker because of the NATO. Two pieces of cloth underneath there. And the lug to lug is a beautiful 48.4. Excellent. This is gonna wear great on most wrists. All right, guys. Now, this one comes on the NATO, like I said, it's a beautiful NATO. It's navy blue with that gold stripe. I know it's supposed to be bronze, but it looks golden to me. And the size adjustments are reinforced with leather. So I'm not going to fray. Very nice. The keepers are all bronze as well. And look at that buckle. It has a nice chamfer right on the side there. And it says rattle. Beautiful touches. Excellent. And there's the little anchor right in the center. So cool. These little details complete the watch. And this is a pretty watch, guys. And look at this. This is, I think this is built into the NATO. I can't get it off, so that's cool. Special NATO from Rado for this watch. It's a stunner. Now that dial beautiful sunburst blue and beautiful hands that broad tip arrow i love it it's amazing it's the legibility excellent and the slight patina on the hands and indices just works with the bronze it almost looks like it's the same color they really matched it well the bezel and the bezel insert is the high tech ceramic Not a fan of the sound or the feel, but some people like it like this. They like it notchy and super tactile. 
not a fan of it. This is just not my style. Some people love it, but it's still a great action and no backplay and everything lines up. So it's a winner. And the price on this one, 2,600 USD and you're getting a Swiss made vintage inspired diver with history. Uh, it's a fair price, but again, there's a huge sale on this. Email me in the description for a discount code. All right, let's compare it with, since we have it here, the Marine Master Reduce, the brand new 42. So both of these are 42 millimeters. Look at that. The Ratto actually looks a little bit bigger with that super ocean style concaved insert. Seiko with that flat insert. Looking a bit smaller. Yeah. Definitely, and they have the same thickness, 12.5. But the Seiko has those heavy duty shoulders, so it does look a little bit thicker. Very nice. Loving that domed sapphire on the Rado. Both are blue dials. Ooh, th these watches look great together, guys. Oh man, excellent. Yep, these two are beautiful. All right, let's do the wrist shot. I can actually try this one on because it's a NATO. There it is. A little bit too big for my wrist, I think. And there you can see it riding a bit higher because of that NATO. But that is a trade of NATO straps. It is expected, but looking very good. Man, this thing is beautiful. I love the color, the blue and the gold or bronze, sorry, but it just looks so gold. Once it patinas, it'll look more bronze. This is so stunning. Guys, you gotta, you gotta see the beauty of this. I think, and I hope the camera is showing it. Hmm, man. Yeah, this thing is so beautiful. This thing is a beauty. Love it. I kind of wish it never patinas, even though I love patina, but on this thing, I don't know. I just love this golden sheen. It's beautiful. Let's check out the weight. <laughs> 80 grams. Unreal. 80 grams for a 42 millimeter. 300 meters of water resist. Sapphire crystal, screw down crown, diver, pretty good. That's awesome. And I forgot to mention, there is a beautiful sign crown. The anchor is there. There. And the logo on the dial, the anchor also moves. So see where it's positioned? Watch me give it a little love shake. And it moved. Let's begin, we have 51 degrees angle of attack, which is the ETA 2824's base lift angle. So we're doing the right angle. We have a little bit of beat error, a lot more than I'd like to see actually, 0 0.6 millimeters, I mean milliseconds, sorry. It should be maximum uh, 0.2. However, the amplitude is amazingly strong, above 300, very nice to see those powerful numbers. And we have, Five seconds a day as the first number, which we always ignore. And then we have zero, zero, zero. Uh, so this movement is, wow, another zero. And that powerful amplitude is, wow. And okay, so the B error just decreased to 0 0.5, a little bit better. No snowflakes, but you see those two lines? That's the B error ticking twice every millisecond, 0 0.5 millisecond. Wow. Okay, so zero, 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 another zero. Okay, so we have a little bit of the air, but you can't complain about a zero seconds a day watch that has 300 plus amplitude. That is a beast. This thing's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for sure. Oh, it just hit negative one, big deal. All right, let's go two more rounds for fun. Negative one again. And the final reading is whatever we're gonna call it as. Negative one, very consistent movement. Good job, Rado. Okay, so let's check out the loom. Beautiful loom, even though it's creamy and beige patina very slightly, 
to match that bronze case, the gilt look, it is still very strong and very nice. I'm a fan of it. Look at the legibility, excellent legibility. Now there's no way to tell which way is 12 because the indices at 12, nine and six are the exact same, but three has that little half indice, so that will help out. Now let's compare it with the MM200. Very nice, so pretty similar. The MM200, a little brighter, just a hair. So very well done by Ratto. But for example, if we, let's see the MM300. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's not fair. The MM300 is just a beast. It's just not fair. <laughs> All right, let's check it out some under some half lighting. <laughs> All right, there it is. And guys, I'm so blown away by the beauty of this. I loved the other rattle we did, the first one on the channel, the blue with the beads of rice. But adding that splash of gold, I know it's bronze. It just adds something more. It just looks so beautiful. This is a pretty diver desk diver but it has 300 meters of water is so you can dive with it 100 percent so it's a powerful tool watch with great specs sapphire swiss made brand with history in diving and it looks stunning it's a winner i like this watch a lot i kind of wish it was 40 mil like the case and they just slim down the bezel at 40 because it's 42 and I think, I don't know, it would be tough for me not to buy. I like it that much. It's a beauty and a great everyday wear. It will look good with jeans. It will look good with dress shirt. Like it's just the do it all beautiful diver. And I love it. This is a good one. Yeah, man, this thing's pretty. Okay. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.